Plenty of blue skies over the Dan Ryan right now. Look at that picture and look at the Dan Ryan. It's moving nicely at 518 on a Friday. Meteorologist Rob Ellis here now again with a check of the forecast and isn't it great to be the bearer of good news? Yeah, it is. I like the Rob and Rob show. Yes, thing yes. The Bob, you're Rob with two B's. With two B's, yeah. I get two for the price of one. Two <laughs> Robs for the price of one today. Let's talk about the forecast. That beautiful picture over the Dan Ryan. This is going to continue. Although there are going to be some minor changes, I want to draw your attention a little farther to the west here. We do have warmer temperatures, uh, and that is going to be moving our way. 80 degrees is our current temperature, uh, and that high pressure that's kind of keeping all the skies clear, that too will stay with us for the weekend. So this is some good news uh, for any of the locations locally that have been reporting some pretty warm temperatures today. Let's get in a little closer and show you what we've been talking about. That high pressure bringing in some slightly cooler air today, but that'll start to change with the warmer air moving in. And there you can see satellite and radar. A few of those showers down to the south. We'll keep those a little farther to the south as well. Not much to talk about when it comes to our local forecast. Uh, I don't know if we have our weather watchers. If we want to hit that, I don't know if we're going to put that up there. There it is. Weather watchers showing us temperatures currently into the 80s. I wanted to show you the high temperatures because when we look at those high temperature numbers, 80s and near 90, we're going to get a little bit warmer than that over the course of the weekend. Let me show you what I'm talking about with our future cast. Here's the temperatures for tomorrow up into the mid 80s. Now notice future cast is trying to spit out a very isolated shower. I think we're going to be OK. I think the atmosphere is going to stay dry enough that we won't have to worry about too much of this. Overall, I think this is an indication of what your forecast is going to look like. But would I be surprised if a quick little downpour popped up very isolated on the radar? I wouldn't be surprised, but I think it's going to be few and far between. Once we get into your Saturday evening, again, looking pretty good. Mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. We will have a little bit of a light north wind. So if you're going to be right along the lake shore, I think your temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler and we'll keep the temperatures a little bit milder overnight, but not getting quite as cool tomorrow morning, uh, excuse me, into a Sunday morning than we're going to be tomorrow morning. So temperatures in the upper 60s, but a lot of sunshine. And once we add that full day of sunshine into the mix, the numbers are going to go through the roof. I think we'll get into the mid to upper 80s once we get past Sunday and into Monday as well. The numbers really going to be warming up with our forecast really increasing. By the way, if you're headed to the uh, lake, temperatures running into the mid 70s. That's looking pretty good. So it's a general warming trend, but notice this at some point the temperatures drop. We go back down to close to seasonable average, and that is because we do have rain in the forecast. That chance for rain is going to arrive sometime on Wednesday. Although again, we'll watch the timing here, but it looks like by that point we'll increase that humidity. We'll add a few scattered showers into the mix. In the meantime, enjoy a very nice summer like Weekend that it looks next pretty good. Week looks terrific. It does look pretty good, especially the first part of the yeah, week. Yeah, we'll take it. Thanks, yeah. Rob.